installment in my ongoing series about urban exploration called Forgotten Places. This one deals with a trip I had late in October of 2006 during the unbelievably huge surprise snowstorm in Buffalo, New York, where we traveled there and went to check out the German Roman Catholic Orphanage right downtown. Although we were all soaked to the bone because of all the slushy snow, we still managed to get some fantastic photos and check out this wonderful set of buildings. So without much ado, onward to the photos and a little bit of history about the place. Uh, enjoy! The orphanage is located at 564 Dodge Street, right in the heart of Buffalo. Originally located on Pine, it was established to care for orphans and victims of the cholera epidemic which ravaged the city in 1851. The first building of the orphanage was opened in 1852, adjoining the Sisters of Notre Dame's convent, and the nuns took charge of the children. It grew from 12 children in 1862 to 47 in 1874, at which time they transferred to their new home on Dodge, a much safer neighborhood location. The first fire hit the orphanage in 1919 when the children were asleep. It started in the west end of the basement and quickly moved up a dumbwaiter. The fire spread throughout the main building and school rooms. Rebuilding took six months and a porch was added along with offices and sun parlor. In 1927, a separate school building was built, as well as a gymnasium, and a chapel added in 1938. In 1949, a swimming pool was added and each child was provided a swimming suit by the Daily Post of the American Legion. The orphanage housed more than 15,000 children during its lifetime, many of whom still get together for reunions today. Unfortunately, the buildings have fallen into a state of dire disrepair. Another fire ravaged the buildings in 1956 and the orphanage was closed for good. At this time, there are no plans for the buildings or the land, and many of the rooms still house old gym equipment, choral songbooks, chapel organs, and school supplies left when the orphanage was abandoned. Ta-da! Quick costume change, and we're back. So, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the history of the German Roman Catholic Orphanage in Buffalo, and some of the photographs that I took on my last exploration there. So, a lot of people ask me, why urban exploration? Why do I like going into abandoned buildings? Uh, what's the big deal for me there? I mean, they're falling apart. Uh, you know, they've been abandoned for a reason. Um, oh, hello, cat. Uh, well, <laughs> for me, as a photographer and as an artist, um, I like to go into these buildings because a building in its heyday is one thing. You can go in, you can experience the beautiful architecture uh, when it's at its peak. You can see how the people interact with the building. But when it's been abandoned and it starts to decay, it's left out to the elements, um, something happens to that building. Um, the colors intensify, the textures intensify. When paint starts peeling, um, when everything's exposed to the elements, you start to see a completely different version of a building. You experience the memories of the building in a completely different way. A lot of the buildings that we go into, like the German Roman Catholic Orphanage, when the people left the building, they don't necessarily take everything. So as you go through the different rooms and go, hey, cool paint peeling, cool textures, you also see treasures that have been left behind by the people who use this building for whatever purposes. So in terms of the German Roman Catholic Orphanage, when we were in the chapel, there were hymnal books, uh, prayer books, choral books. Um, in the classrooms, there were desks left over, uh, little desks, you couldn't even fit into them. Um, there were some workbooks. In the offices, there were old-fashioned adding machines, you know, the kind that you punched in and then pulled the lever. It was really cool to see these types of memories. Um, I go in, when I, my philosophy with photographing these places is I like to bear witness to that time period in the building's demise and um, I don't touch anything. I just photograph it as it is. Um, if someone's happened to have come in there, squatted in the building and moved things around since the last time I've been there, I'll photograph that again. Um, it gives me a sense of time in the building. Um, and it's interesting because as we come back to these places over and over again, you can really get a sense of time within the building because from the last time you've been there, people may have come in, um, like I said, squatted in the building, used it as a home, um, moved things around, added things to the building to make it their home. 
Um, you know, the elements may have decayed the building a little bit more. There may be a new hole in the floor. There may be a door missing or more paint peeling. Um, or in the case of Toronto, there may be a condo there where the building used to be. Uh, we don't tend to preserve our buildings uh, as much here as they do in the United States. Um, so I like to think I'm bearing witness to the history of the building even after the occupants have gone. Um, so if you have a chance, if you like to do urban exploration, the German Roman Catholic Orphanage is really beautiful, really fantastic, um, and it's still in half decent shape so that, you know, you're not going to fall through the floors. Uh, well, except maybe the kitchen. Um, and uh, it's really worth exploring. It's beautiful. And that's my phone, so I have to go. All right, come back next time when I do uh, explore another building with you. Bye.